made Jarvis in real life with GPT-4 and Siri. I thought this was kind of interesting. I've been keeping track of some of the chat GPT stuff. Um, let's go ahead and check this out. I think it's going to be cool. After today, there is no need to ever prompt again. Jarvis from Iron Man is now a reality. If you haven't seen how far AI videos have come, you need to take a look at this. What if Warren Buffett was your personal assistant and you could feed him a thousand pages of information and ask him about it? You can now use your words to create 3D object with GPT and Blender. You can get much better results with ChatGPT by making it go through a step-by-step -step process. If you want to turn yourself into a 3D character, you can now do it with just your phone. If you have a lot of background noise yeah. while you're trying to do Zoom calls. I've seen some stuff with that, especially with Unreal Engine 5. Um, from the stuff they released for like the Fortnite creative mode that like uh, map creators can do like, with animations and stuff it's super crazy you just record it with your iPhone or whatever and uh, it, it like um, what is it renders it in like literally like a minute you can now remove that in a single click we just discovered art singularity after today, there is no need to ever prompt again. We just discovered art singularity. Midjourney released this feature today, which is called Describe. Upload any picture. I uploaded dogs playing poker, and now it gives me all these prompts that I can just use. All I need to do is just click one, two, three, four. And you can see all of them getting made right now. <laughs> this is the first prompt. This is the second prompt. This is the third prompt. And this is the fourth prompt. You can really see that it's way better than the input image that I put in. While we just discovered art singularity, there will be no more original art created after today. The next job for us is curation. Quantum computers will create every imaginable and unimaginable piece of visual art. But I actually don't think That's that it will be able to recreate my mom's favorite work of art me jarvis from iron man is now a reality i just can't believe this hey everyone it's mckay i'm back with an update on my gpt4 coding assistant so we're gonna jump into codename jarvis run jarvis yes i need a next app with tailwind on it you want me to create a new next js app with tailwind css yes one moment what would you like the app to do let's make a website called mckay's landing page and it needs to have a single text input that's an email input so that I can capture emails from my email list. On it, you want a site called McKay's landing page that takes in an email input. Would you like me to add anything else? Um, let's make it mobile and desktop friendly and let's style it with like a blue indigo gradient. Cool. One moment. Okay, I'll make it responsive and this style is so it with a nice background gradient. Anything else? Sounds great. He's just chatting. Wow. One moment. Okay, I'll start working. So continuing. every time it says continuing, it means the step succeeded. Otherwise, it'll throw an error. So continuing means good. So this is going to just run through. Oh, let me keep my hand here. I, forgot. I initialized your project. No funny business. Continuing. Okay, so it's writing the code. I added the email input you asked for. Continuing. Okay, so it says I did the email input. That's good. I checked to make sure the app works correctly. Everything looks good. Would you like me to deploy it? Yes. Okay, it's going to try and deploy it. Oh my God. Like Jarvis. You are so good. I deployed your project to Versal on the K personal. Okay, Continuing. The, okay. Task complete. So the agent shut Shutting down. Agent down. So we're all done. Now let's jump over to my GitHub. I should have a repo. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. We got the repo. Let's see how it looks. Uh, McKay's landing page, a basic landing page, email input. Okay, so this config looks it. Let me, where's the, yeah, see now. <laughs> this just happened. It's, it's building right now which means it did in fact deploy just now. Okay, so you can see that this just happened, all right? So this is in fact fresh. So we just gotta sit here for a sec. Refresh, okay, okay, this should work. Oh my, dude, it did it. It nailed the background, no way. Remember that links are in the description for That's everything crazy. I'm talking. That is crazy, chat. I cannot believe that. Oh my God, the AI is getting too good about if you haven't seen how far ai videos have come you need to take a look at this this is ai on top of a normal video dancing with some camera movement look how insane that is <laughs> i don't know what's real and what's fake like there's so many things going on like look at his watch for example the watch on his right hand 
his hand turning into all these different shapes and even look at his face right how it's changing from goggles to other types of goggles that's crazy too and his mouth as well having this gas mask that just changes to other gas masks but it's also smooth never seen anything like that i mean it still looks like it has some work to do but it's getting better each day i will say that. and this is something we've talked about it's going to continue to progress and get better and better and better and better and then eventually you're not gonna be able to tell the difference it's just how it is accept it i really wonder what is gonna happen on tiktok in the future absolutely blows my mind they're using warp fusion to do this just look at how cool this car looks and the video is just amazing i love it what if warren buffett was your personal assistant and you could feed him a thousand pages of information and ask him about it well here you go this guy fed <laughs> all the tesla annual reports into this chat bot and is now asking warren buffett What's Tesla's revenue year over year growth? And he's searching through these PDF documents. That's about a thousand pages. So now Warren is doing math on top of these documents. And I'm kind of imagining it's kind of like Warren Buffett sitting on his calculator doing this. So you can see revenue growth rate for 2021, revenue growth rate for 2022. And he got the number 51% and you can see all the sources that it went through. So you can see PDF page number 51. And the coolest thing is that it actually came up with the answer, which was 51%. And you can see that when we cross check it with Seeking Alpha, that's the exact same answer we get there. Now we that's can crazy. continue asking it questions like what were major risk factors faced by the business in 2022? You can see that they included manufacturing, delivery and service operations, competition and market uncertainty, public perception and negative publicity, perceptions about electric vehicles. Tesla is already working on AI in their cars. So a risk for 2023 is that the car becomes so smart it starts applying for jobs. You can now use your words. <laughs> the jobs, the cars are going to be working for us now. They're going to take all the jobs. Look out, guys. Create 3D object with GPT and Blender. Just listen to this. Create 20 cubes in a large circle, each with a random rotation. And it it'd be funny if you seen like a Tesla working at a McDonald's. Use this. Open AI's whisper to create that, <laughs> just like that, that's a wild. <laughs> create a rigid body physics demo with a tower of 50, one by one by one cubes, five meters above a 2020 plane. And just like that, it's starting to write the code, as you can see here, just doing all the work that you had to do before, but now it does all the work for you. And in a second, just like that, you'll see all the cubes above a plane and you can play the physics simulation isn't that crazy <laughs> this will literally take so many clicks damn that's cool you can get much better results with chat gpt that would take way longer than what it did with that <laughs> by making it go through a step-by-step -step process an example chat gpt is generally really bad at creating interesting puzzles and scenarios to solve either making it too easy or impossible but step-by-step -step approaches work. The prompt is, you are a game master. Your job is to come up with interesting challenges for the player to solve. Describe a challenging fantasy scenario and enable me to solve it in an interesting way. You will use the following format to help create a series of responses. This is called chain of thought prompting. And you write all of this to ChatGPT. Step one. Decide on the scenario, making it original and vivid and not standard fantasy. The scenario can involve combat, a trap, or a puzzle. The scenario must not involve riddles or the elements. Make sure there is a solution to the scenario. Make the solution require clever thinking. Include the solution in brackets. Step 2. Decide on the scene. Make sure that the player has the option to solve the scenario based on the descriptions. Make sure the solution is not clear, but requires clever reasoning based on the scene. Make sure there are very different 
false solution that seem possible. Include the detailed true solution and describe the false solution as well as so how the. So are they feeding all this into into uh, Chat GPT, trying to give them steps? Find the true solution in brackets. Such clever prompting here. This guy is obviously a prompting master. Step number three: describe the scenario and the scene vividly. I think that's what's going on. Make sure there are clues to the solution and credible but very different false clues to the wrong answer in the description. Do not describe the solution or the problem directly. Do not describe how to solve the problem in this step. Do not describe the false clues as false. Begin by introducing yourself and go through each step in order. So that's the prompt. And what does ChatGPT write? Look at this. Hello, I'm ChatGPT, your game master for today. Let's embark on an exciting fantasy challenge. Step number one, decide on the scenario. And here it has the scenario as well. Decide on the scene. Here it has the scene. Step number three, describe the scenario and the scene. And you can see that it describes the entire <laughs> thing for you. And it ends all... So it, you can basically turn Jack, Chat GPT into your own game master for like Dungeons and Dragons or something. That's pretty cool. Love it on good luck on your journey. Brave adventurers. I'm excited to see how you'll tackle this challenge. If you've seen anybody use things like this, I'd love for you to comment a link down below. I'd love to see some sort of... This is honestly crazy because like you can pretty much use Chat GPT for like anything now. Obviously, we just seen it used like Jarvis with Siri, um, where it can create its own database and like filing email system, and you can create a web page from it. Oh my God, it's just it's crazy. Dragons, dude. puzzles, type of board games. It's getting and so maybe advanced. Maybe we should try playing one in the Discord as well. If you want to turn yourself into a 3D character. You can now do it with just your phone. Just look at this. You have any type of footage and just like that, you're a 3D character and now you're in some sort of space football field. Look how smooth it is too. With not much of jittering going on or anything like that. Look at this too. This is a guy dancing. And you can see the 3D character being almost perfect. That's there crazy. Band playing. And as you can see, even from kind of low quality footage here as well in the dark room, it works perfectly. Also working on these perfect cloth simulations, as you can see on the right side here, moving in a perfect motion. So it won't be long until I can do this show in oh the God. coolest underwear and nothing else. If you have a lot of background noise while you're trying to do Zoom calls, you can now remove that in a single click. If you're doing online meetings, you have to try Chris. With the magic of a click, nobody will hear your dog barking, your washing machine, your crying baby, and any, gonna piss off the dog. any other noise during an online meeting. And you won't hear others' noises too. Chris is an AI-powered tool that bi-directionally mutes all background noise during conference calls in real time. And guess what? You can use Chris with any conferencing app. Take your own Pretty sure Crisp is in uh, Discord, isn't it? Online conferencing to the next level and sound super professional in your calls. Oh, and it's free. Pretty sure I've seen it. Cool. If you didn't know, GPT can now improve itself. If you want to check that out, click this video now. I promise this is one of the best ones that I produced. Also, subscribe down below. What are you doing? I'm telling you guys, chat GPT, it's just getting insane every day. Better and better and better and better. Hey guys, if you like the video, make sure you head over to the page, hit that like button, scroll over, smash that subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified for future video drops. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.